Government is not reason. It is not eloquence. It is force, like fire, a troublesome servant, and a fearful master. Never for a moment should it be left to irresponsible action. Hello, I'm Alan Scholl for The Freedom Project, sponsored by American Opinion Foundation. In this episode of our Principles of the Constitution series, we're going to focus on the preamble of the Constitution. Here's a question for you. True or false, some of the Founding Fathers thought the preamble wasn't necessary. The answer is true. A number of the Founding Fathers believed the rights of Americans should not be defined by any words for fear they be used to limit their rights. For many, preamble sounds like a word out of their league, but it really just means an introduction. So in other words, the preamble is the introduction to the U.S. Constitution, a document created by our Founding Fathers in 1788. Many refer to it as a basic statement that defines the intentions and meaning of the Constitution. Contained in just 52 words, the preamble states, We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. Though it's not very long, it does contain a lot of complex words and statements. Let's take a closer look to find out why the Founding Fathers felt it was so important that they would make it the first part of the United States Constitution. It begins with, we the people of the United States. Immediately, the Founders wanted to show it was the people who were establishing the government. The Constitution was created by the people, for the people, from their rights and responsibility to establish just and sound government. In order to form a more perfect union, the Founding Fathers understood a perfect nation wasn't possible, but they felt a limited republic was the closest form of a perfect government for the imperfect people. Establish justice. The intent behind this line was to protect Americans from the many faults of unfair governments the Founders had come from. The Constitution was written to protect Americans from an all-powerful government. Ensure domestic tranquility. This means the Constitution is designed to help keep America a peaceful nation, bent on allowing Americans to make their own living and provide for themselves in a safe environment. The preamble continues by stating the Founder's intention that the Constitution was to provide for the common defense. This is rather obvious. The intent was to keep America protected as a nation against foreign powers and threats of all types to join the states together as a united front. Promote the general welfare. This statement has frequently been incorrectly used to justify passage of legislation providing unconstitutional services and funding for a wide array of special interest groups and programs. And secure blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. The Founding Fathers wanted the Constitution to be a solid document that would protect them and their grandchildren from tyrannical government. Posterity simply means all future generations. And finally, the preamble states, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. By this, they wanted all Americans to know and recognize the highest law in America is the Constitution, and no one has the right to violate it or any of its citizens. Despite the fact that the words in the Constitution are a bit different than the words we use today, it is still every bit as important and relevant as it was back then. At this point, I'd like to bring in our friend Dr. Smith, who's considered an expert in American politics and constitutional law. Dr. Smith, did America's founders plan a limited government? The framers preferred a limited government because that would ensure a maximum amount of freedom. A government has to be strong enough to carry out the basic functions of government, self-defense and uh, protection of economic contracts and things of that nature. So it must be strong enough to do that. However, if it's too strong, then it becomes a threat to the citizens it's supposed to serve and protect. 
limited government is supposed to be a happy medium between those two things. So government's strong enough to do what it needs to do, but weak enough so that the citizens can still control that government when necessary. Uh, we primarily achieve our limited government through a constitution, and that constitution acts as, a, as, a, uh, as almost an umpire to our form of government. And so um, that allows us to be limited. It allows us to have protected liberties and protected rights. And if you've noticed throughout uh, recent history throughout the world, limited government seems to be the preferred method of government when people are given the option to choose their own form of government. Thank you, Dr. Smith. Did you get all that? Let's find out. Question one. The preamble to the Constitution contains how many words? A, 32, B, 42, C, 52, or D, 72? correct answer is C. The preamble is made up of only 52 words. Question 2. Why did some of the Founding Fathers feel a preamble wasn't necessary? A. They feared it would limit rights. B. A lack of important information. C. It didn't limit enough rights. Or D. The Constitution was long enough. The correct answer is A. A number of the Founding Fathers believed the rights of Americans should not be defined by any words for fear they be used to limit rights. Question 3. The first line of the preamble begins with A. When in the course of human events B. On this great day C. We the people or D. Four score and seven years The correct answer is C. The first line of the preamble reads, We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union. Question 4. True or false? The Founding Fathers wrote the preamble to clarify why they were writing the Constitution. The answer is true. The Founding Fathers wanted there to be a clear understanding of why they were writing a Constitution for themselves and all the future generations. Question 5. What does posterity mean? A. Having good posture. B. All future generations. C. All children. Or D. A rare fish. The answer is B, all future generations. The Founding Fathers wanted to make sure all the generations after them would have the same freedoms they had. You can see why the Founding Fathers were so intent on making the Constitution so strong and the introduction so clear. They wanted to make sure that their government was safe for them and for all future generations. I'm Alan Scholl for The Freedom Project. Welcome home.